end of 90 minutes for both games we saw here at the Godfrey Lapabio Stadium. We saw two games and with the first game ended for Aqua United at defeating Nasra United by a lone goal courtesy of Adwafiz Awako. And the other game we are talking about Egimba uh, playing Wari Wolves uh, defeating them by also by a lone goal. Goal scored by uh, Kamal Sikiru in just number three. Uh, that's the second game. This is the support the, this is the support the NPFL uh, final review of today's game. I have with me Wale Kodri on my far side, Abai Mademeto and also Shogo, who we'll also take it all back. Let me start with um, Shogo from the far end. Uh, Shogo, we saw two games. Uh, Aqua United playing Wari, um, playing Nasra United. Uh, one goal it ended. Uh, what's your rating about the game? Honestly, if I uh, should say the truth, Nasra United, uh, uh, they performed below expectation. And also, uh, the second game was the best game so far in, in, in the first day of the uh, second round. I enjoyed the game between the Yemen International and Wari Wolves. But the game between Aqua United and Nasara United was below expectation. Though Abdul Aziz Awakan was able to get uh, uh, the cutting razor at the at, at, at the 90th minute, but honestly, our football is changing and we're having young guys who knows how to do uh, 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 this game because gone are the days when we have old guys. But now things are changing and we're enjoying best of football, but honestly, Nasara United are going to represent us at the continent and they are not doing bad. The midfield is not that creative, the attack is not sharp. Tayo Fabi was not doing what, is, what was expected. And also I was expecting Amino Kadri to come from the flank and support Azango uh, Phillips from, from, from the flank, but these guys are not there to, to, to strike the balance from the side. All right, uh, we saw uh, Ivan Pitt take on um, Adela Fitzawak on the man who scored the last goal here in the last season. Uh, talking about uh, the game against Lobby Stars, he was also sensational at the Federation's Cup against Lobby Stars, scoring a goal. Then today, he's just coming back into the team and scoring another wonderful goal at the 90th minute of that game. Uh, Abayami Ademet of Football Gala, uh, we saw good football. How have you rated uh, Adela Fitzawak on? Do you think he's the key man uh, behind uh, the success of Aqua United? Just like he showed uh, last season at the Fed Cup, where he emerged as a small. Of the bright spot of the of the promise keepers. Now they have a new coach in uh, former Imba International and Ushon uh, Boys and Gaffa and Maurice Kuman. And like he said after the match, that the secret of his success is uh, his almighty Allah who has made him um, get to where he is right now. Abraziz Awako, he was able to pop up and score that late goal, good run from uh, Kufu Ebong, the under 23 international. And that was a typical goal purchase and finish. And for me, it, uh, that was what affected uh, Aqua United right there in. in Kaduna, you know, they were just passing, they tossing the ball around with a um, good ball that's, that's, that's like uh, a bong, a bong, a five, but they lack that finishing touch, and that was what Abdulaziz uh, Awakon showed today. And for you to actually play very well at the continent against the likes of uh, Tipi Mazimbe, you know, top clubs on the uh, Sporting Garua, Orlando Pirates, and the rest, you need to fin you need to finish your chance, you don't need to be wasteful. And that's how United, you know, they showed their privilege in front of goal today, you know, they were creating the chances, the likes of Tyre of Fire BE, it was, was wasteful. Azango, you know, he missed. He, an it's open chance, yes. And today, it was all about uh, 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 killing of the game. And that was what our con showed today. All right, uh, killing of the game, that was what our con had to do. For Wale Kodri, let me, the question I'm going to put to you is, Aqua United have never lost a game here at the Ghost Street, uh, the Nest of Champion of the Ghost Street, uh, Stadium. Again, they strike winning that game today. Do you think, with the two games they have on their train, do you think that record continues for Aqua United? Well, for me, um, earlier on, during the review, you know, I made mention of them. Um, I don't see them you know, keeping that record to the end of this second round of uh, NPF uh, Super 4. Uh, for, they still have a couple of games to play, like two or three games to go. They'll be playing in Yimba, they'll be playing Warrior Wolves. And, from what we've seen so far, this, I mean, this evening, Wolves and Iba, you know, those these two teams, they show class, they show that they are prepared, you know, for the next task ahead of them. So for me, I still feel that Aqua United, that record will be shattered very soon because when you look at the way Iba played, look at the way Wally Wolves played, we realize that when these two teams play against them, definitely they are, they are, they are not going to get the six maximum points. All right, uh, let's just quickly go to the second game, uh, talking about uh, Yimba and um, what it was. Just a question directly to the three uh, and, um, guests uh, on the show this evening. Uh, let's just pick it. Uh, Yimba won what it was zero. Another defeat for um, Samuel Kodos boys. Why are we going to with what it was? Uh, for me, if you look at the way what it was uh, played uh, in, uh, at the Kaduna edition of 2016 uh, NPFL, so for you notice that there's, there's a bit of uh, uh, cohesion and you know, teamwork. You know, the likes of uh, Solomon Opako, the former free state star, also played for the 20 in the past, the likes of Ogenevu, Uzezi. Today, you know, Utoya came in very late, and you know, we saw that in, an improved seaside as team. Anybody international with their glut of stars, we call them Man City of, uh, of <laughs> uh, NPFL. Yeah. This is, you know, Piagara should call it. You know, you go look at the goal, you know, he was able to uh, move away from uh, from uh, Opako, and, and that was it. Come out with top class finish. The likes of Dario Joe, they, they showed real quality, and it shows that NPFL has come to a good game from the two sides. Okay, Valeka, well, this. 
Well, well, for me, I think uh, for I mean, worry with um, the last game, according to what you know, um, Galo has said, they've been improving so far because uh, you know, in the review, we mentioned of them, you know, um, losing to Bender Insurance, but this evening we saw what they did against Enyimba. Going forward, they lack you know the cutting edge because um, that top man that can do the damage, you know wasn't there. We saw what Sik I mean, what Ali Misikuri did. He really tried, you know, in the first half, in the second half, but he was substituted. And after that, getting the goal for them happens to be the big deal for them. Then bringing in other guys, they, they, they really showed, you know, the quality that they, they are made of. But then getting the goal has been the problem. Though they really played well. I, I got a, a last quote from the coach I, I'm going to show go. Show go. The coach, um, we, we saw a player, Kelechi, uh, who came in number 16, Jesse. He actually uh, read the flair of the game. Uh, that guy is a promising player for World Wolves. You think he can live up to the expectation is on his body? Of course. Uh, what I'm expecting, the problem we have in Nigerian football, we don't follow all these players and we are not ready to help them. After this Super 4, you hardly hear things about such person again. But honestly, I want us to look. I don't want to judge now. I want to wait for the second uh, to the match at uh, day two and uh, and finalize my, my, my conclusion mm -hmm. to know if uh, uh, these guys really worth it because this what they've done today what with Ayimba was a perfect one Ayimba, uh, the Nasarawa United and Aqua game was below expectation but I want to wait for the second day to know how and what to say about these uh, uh, players and this tournament well uh, the Super 4 is just ending for the day one and we'll be going to the day two just on Wednesday well, we'll be witnessing another two interesting games the first game we'll see uh, Ayimba taking on Aqua United and the second game on the night is going to be what we were taking on Nasara United. On behalf of the support the MPFL crew, I want to thank Abayami and Demeter for coming on the show this evening with me. Also Wally Kodri, who is oh, as we hear in this show. We also have Shogo also yeah. Tila, also our director and our producer Alonga Akilolu. It's the support the MPFL.com live yeah, and the Godwill Aquabio Stadium here in Ujo. We'll see you on Wednesday, God willing, well, for the preview of the next two games. I'm Olowo Kerelu saying keep back in the support the MPFL. Keep back in the MPFL because now our league now our pride is to have to go from now. <laughs>